All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're here to do a video on the new PTC update that just rolled out for the Meta Quest 3, which is version 83. You guys know that Meta has been doing a lot of updates like the Oculus TV that you guys are seeing here and the Horizon area that they have been working on. The Horizon Navigator just received a massive update. Let's go ahead and get into it. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is Okay, guys, so here is the OS that we're going to be talking about. This is version 83 that I just got on my Quest here. Really, really excited to show this off to you guys because there are some interesting changes on here that I definitely want to dive into with you guys. So first of all, when you first get into here, you can see I'm in mixed reality, and I just turned my headset on after getting version 83, and you can see that you're presented with the, you know, this screen here, which a lot of us have seen in version 81. I really like the new, like, dashboard or whatever you want to call this right here, Horizon Feed, that kind of pops up right here when you get in here because it shows your friends right there in the corner. I love the animations that pop up right here. Like when you hover over a person, you can easily call them, invite them, message them right from here. You got worlds that you were, you can be interested in. You got apps that you can easily jump right back into that you were recently playing. Apps recommended for you. Uh, you know, I think this Horizon overhaul, uh, Horizon feed was amazing. And this was an 81. And then, of course, you got your friends list right here on the right. So you can easily, like, put this on, on the screen. And if you double click the Horizon, the meta button on your right, it disappears, and then if you double-click on it again, it comes right back. Well, that's a new thing as well in version 83 that you can just double-tap that. But what we're here for is the new Horizon Navigator, and that's what we have right here in front of us. And there is a lot to get into on here. Uh, first of all, because I don't want to be a mixed reality the whole entire time, I'm going to go to the first tab here which is worlds. And the reason that this tab is important, this is your, your worlds tab tab. So this is not your library. This is where all the horizon worlds that creators are making and stuff like that live. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't like horizon worlds, uh, but I think horizon worlds is getting better and better each time. And I hang in there a lot and I've met a lot of cool people in there. I've made videos on, on this channel, blah, blah, blah. But I think the important thing here is that they added these two new, there's a couple of things that they added. First of all, I love that you can kind of hover over these and it kind of plays like a video on some of them uh and i like how they expand not every single one does it but there you go spin the bottle has like a little video feed that kind of plays i think that really adds polish to the os it adds coolness to it uh you know whatever you want to call it i think it's just really cool the way that that happens like i said not all of them have it but some of them do and i think it's awesome when they actually do have it because it really adds an element to you know just looking really cool and you have all these different ones here that you can kind of scroll through um, I'm sure, I don't know if developers have to do the video. It seems like developers have to, or have to like add these little videos in here in Horizons for, the, for this to kind of pop up. But I think this is super awesome. I love the way that this is actually done. And they, I think they did a great job with that. So these are all the Horizon Worlds that are being recommended to you. And I think that's a really cool tab to have because I like Horizon Worlds and there's stuff interesting. But the second point to make on here is this right here. So you got the pass through home world. You can see the little video that kind of shows up where you're in pass through like you are right now. And you can like put a bunch of different windows around you and stuff like that, like you usually could. And then you got your home world, which is right here, which is the home world that we were used to in version 81. And what you can do is if you hold this down like this, I can set this as my home. And if I don't want to, I don't have to. I can come here and set this as home. So this is already my default. So the default when you turn into version 83, at least right now in the PTC, is that you jump into pass through, which is what we're sitting in here. So this is how you technically save which one you want to launch as soon as you open. If you always want pass through to launch, then you can leave it at default because that's what's going to show up as default, at least in PTC. But I don't want that. I like being immersed in VR. So I'm going to change the loft as being my main home. And even if you don't want it to be your main home, this is how you would open this up in worlds and just kind of launch it and then we'll come in here right now and you guys will see we're in the worlds that we're used to kind of seeing in here uh which is really awesome and again i can hide these windows really easily first of all i didn't talk about this in a video but the new uh when you hit the left uh horizon button here on the left hand side to open the menu you have your usual na navigation for immersive home that we've had before with the same scenery as we had before the horizon central the midnight the valley a Blumhouse and Ocean Aaron, but I didn't talk about Blumhouse because this isn't a recent add on that I think a lot of us have gotten for Halloween. And I just wanted to talk about that for a second because uh, this is the best one in here as far as graphics and detail. This looks outstanding. This Blumhouse environment, like the trees, the atmosphere in here, the sound effects, the birds, the house back there, it's just fantastic. The way that this is lit up, 
looks amazing. Uh, this is like something that I put in here and you can, you know, anchor stuff to the wall like we talked about. So I have YouTube kind of yanked to the wall right there, uh, which is awesome. And, uh, you know, this is just a fantastic home environment. I think they knocked it out of the park with this Bloomhouse environment. So I'm excited to see if this is something they're going to continue to do for different holidays and different events because can't wait to see a Christmas one in here. But, yeah, the bats come by and stuff like that. Fantastic. Like I said, they did a great job with this environment and the detail in here is my favorite one uh, i mean they've all been good to be honest but this one just really stands out of course we got my instagram here on the wall uh that you can see your 2d and 3d pictures that we obviously had from version 81 so that being said let's go ahead and go back into navigator and let's go ahead and keep on exploring here so that's the first tab here and you can search through here if you need to right here if you want to search through the homes you can go ahead and explore you can go ahead and look at recently visited so it will sort to the ones that you recently visited instead uh, which is really great. So I can easily just jump back into a world that I've been recently been into without even launching Horizon Worlds, which I think is great. You have things that you've saved in here sitting right here really easily, which is great. Um, so all that stuff is right there for you. Now, moving on to your library tab, which is right here dead set in the middle. This is, of course, your library. And you, again, have the same thing here where you can go ahead and sort of buy all. You can do Horizon Plus stuff. So if you're a subscriber of Horizon Plus, those are all the games that you would have access to it's showing that off here of course i'm not subscribed to it because i get a lot of these games already but you can if you are subscribed you can get it from there i think the value for what you're getting in horizon plus is amazing and then you have downloads in here uh, so you can see what recently downloaded and all that stuff right there which is great i'm going to go ahead and go back to all you can search and then you have the store tab sitting right here so if you want to open the store tab and you want to open one of those tabs in front of you then you can go ahead and there you go you have the usual store uh, you can look at like you know the store the store got an overhaul last time and i think it really did get a nice overhaul uh, i think things are organized a lot better i think games are more properly featured you have things like top selling uh new releases and deals and sports and i just think like things are being advertised the way that they should be you have a new tab up here that says coming soon because i always thought that the coming soon section needed to be highlighted you want to know what's coming soon and you always have to scroll all the way to the goddamn bottom of the home page to find it so really good changes on here when it comes to some of that stuff and some of these actually have like a 3d look to them as well like this killer frequency one the killer and the frequency is popping out in 3d so some of them are starting to do that which i think is really cool so yeah i i think these store uh, has gotten better than where it was before and they're definitely highlighting things that should be highlighting instead of just highlighting all the cheap games that we've all always complained about uh, they have good categories and they're definitely improving on that and again we could just hide this by clicking that and clicking once brings us back to the horizon so and what you can do on here besides just scrolling through here you can also remove it from library if you're clicking on big screen beyond you can lock it you can pin it you can hide it and so you can do all of that by just right clicking any of these icons and kind of removing them from your library or pinning it to the top if it's something you access all the time. So I think that's really good. And the way that that's like highlighted and stuff like that, I think works well on here uh, to look at that. And you have all these different things on top here based on what you're recently using. Uh, like I said, you can search for things and just search for whatever you're looking for. The next tab over here is your people's tab. So this is where you have all your friends. So this is brand new the way this is being shown off to you right here. Uh, I really do like, again, that when you hover over things, they're animated because it gives the polish to the OS that, you know, we've always wanted the OS to feel like. I think this is the most polished the Horizon, uh, you know, platform has felt on the Quest. I love this new navigator. Uh, I think it's like I'm showing off right now. I think it's a much better improvement of what we've had for the past few years. And I love how all of these things kind of animate and push forward when you're kind of clicking on, you know, people and stuff like that. And that when you click on someone, it kind of opens up their profile, obviously, and you can kind of, you know, look at them. And then if you hop back in here on the side, you have things that you can sort. So you, these are connections that I already have that are friends. You can sort by people who I've recently met on here. Uh, so you can always see who you recently met, which is great. So you can always find people that maybe you've seen and forgot to add as a friend, which is awesome. I recognize all those people on that list. Some of them were already my friends. And uh, then you could do suggested and uh, meta suggesting different people that you should be friends with uh, that maybe have connections with other people. And then you have your chats that you can just kind of open up right here and, you know, have a bunch of chats with people going on. So that's the people's tab there, uh, which is great. And then you have the home, 
So home just kind of brings you right back to home here and it kind of just clears out the menu. So anytime you click on the home, it just brings you back to whether you're in mixed reality or on pass through here, depending on what you want. And then if you click on this little button right here, this was also completely redesigned and in my opinion, much better than it was before. So this is a quick and easy way for you to rotate through all of your avatars that you may have to represent you in VR. You can just sort them through. So these are all the avatars this is my main one. This obviously is the one that looks like me, but I have a bunch of other avatars that I've gotten through costumes and unlockables like this Captain America one and all these. And I can easily sort through these. I can edit right from here. All that stuff is all sitting right in front of me, uh, which is great. So you can manage your avatars. You can view your profile. You can switch your profile. And then right here, you can change your status to be either joinable or you can just stay online or you can appear offline as well really really easily it seems like they have a little bug right here that may need to be fixed that uh, is cutting off my name on the side but other than that like this is a massive improvement to where we were before and uh the library tab and being able to pin things on top being able to look at things having this world tab here is something i like the people's tab there just to easily connect with people and look at people that you may have recently met and your connections and stuff uh your quick control has got to redesign as well uh with a bunch of different new things that are sitting on here you can open the settings right from the top there to dive into all of it. You can see, obviously, I am on a version 83 when you go in here. Um, so, yeah, I, I think ver this version is definitely the best that it's ever been when it comes to, you know, the way that this stuff is all organized. And, uh, you know, they did a great job with this, in my opinion, and I can't wait. I think the next thing I'm waiting for is this right here. So this immersive home that we're into that we've been talking about. I love Instagram on the wall. I love that you can pin browser things and YouTube on the sidewall over there and stuff like that. Look at how easy it is for me to just start playing a video from over here and Horizon Central being right there. But what I'm looking for is more of these. I want more objects. So I hope that that's something that's coming soon. Uh, that they add, you know, over the next couple of months where we can like add more things besides just Instagram and Horizon Central that we can kind of make our space our own. So when we invite friends over, it's just more fun to do. So, yeah, that's a quick look into the new version 83 update here on the Quest platform. This is a gigantic improvement, in my opinion, to where we were even a year ago. Meta is definitely heading in the right direction with the way that this is obviously pointing and i think a lot of people are going to like this especially if you're coming from where it was where it was before so yeah this is really cool stuff in my opinion let me know your thoughts down below thank you guys for watching till next time